Hello Home Transformers, my name is Lula Gladden, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm an interior decorator and I'm going to show you how to update a kitchen that may be a little dated but you want to do some quick fixes. Now if I had known a couple of weeks ago that I was going to audition for your show, I would have shown you how to install this backsplash that we just had added to the kitchen. But nonetheless, we're going to start out with the cabinetry. We didn't want to change the cabinetry because it's something that we're trying to keep the cost down. So one quick easy fix is actually to change out the hardware. What we have here is some old antique brass, you know, early, late 70s style hardware that's really unattractive. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it out to have something that's a little bit more stainless steel, a little bit more of the traditional look, which is fine for a home of this nature. Very easy to do. All you have to do is take your drill, and I always say it's good to see a cute girl with a drill. Basically, just take your drill, make sure it's in reverse, and get those screws out. First screw out there. Put this in place. Second screw out. Hardware off. Real easy fix. Make sure we put this in forward. Add the next piece here, which is our stainless steel. I always like to make sure that it's kind of semi in there, so I may do a little bit of hand screwing in, just to make sure that it's easy for you to make sure the holes are all lined up. Then I just take my drill, make sure it's in place, screw on in, and there, just so you can see there, just changing out the hardware definitely updates the look of these cabinets. Now let's talk about paint. Most of the time you go into a room and you know that the best look that you can get, or the best change that you can get, is by adding paint to a room. So basically what we have here is a beautiful shade of paint that we're going to brighten this kitchen up with. The reason why I selected this paint color is because I wanted something that was going to enhance the look of the backsplash. This particular color is definitely going to bring out the tones that are there in the backsplash. Now I have a little tip for you. Whenever you're opening up a new paint, uh, can of paint, one thing that you should do is get yourself some pilot holes. And I say take an ice pick and a hammer and make a couple of pilot holes in place. This is going to help you when you pour the paint out into your tray. Because as you pour the paint out, and when you lift the, the can back up, whatever excess that's left in there is going to drip back down in the can, which is great. It's fantastic. Now here you see I've already poured some paint into my, my trusty pan here. And make sure you have a liner because this is going to give you an opportunity to use this pan over and over again. So these liners really do come in handy and they're very inexpensive. I'm going to stand over here, grab over here, or come over here and grab my ladder. So I can just show you how easy it is for gals to get up on a ladder and decide they're going to do a little bit of painting. Now, as you can see on my work surface, I did have a piece of plastic down and I like to make sure I have things that are protecting my surfaces because it's easy to just pick up that plastic and throw it in the trash. So now we're going to take a little bit of this paint and I don't like to over um, saturate the brush because that makes for a sloppy finish. But what you can do is get a little bit of paint on there, and then that way you don't necessarily have to use um, some tape. So pretty much, as you can see, I'm going up very close to the edge of the ceiling. And if you take your time, you'll notice that you don't have to worry about getting too many drips. And ladies, just so you know, and guys out there, make sure you uh, preset your walls by wiping them down. Because you don't want any dust or anything like that. That's going to mess up your paint. We're going to take a break right now. I'm going to go ahead and finish out painting this room so you can see the dramatic appearance of the paint after, after all. Hello again, Home Transformers. What I want to talk about now is when you're using a roller. Make sure you have a roller that has a nice snap to it so that it can really add in and take in the paint so you can have an even flow when you can use the roller on the wall. So basically I'm going to use my pan, get a nice amount of paint on that roller, but remember you don't want it oversaturated because you don't want things to drip. And as you notice, I got my safety plastic right here so it doesn't ruin my countertops. Basically all I'm going to do is take my roller and go up and down. Now if this was a larger space, 
I would tell you to go in a W formation just because it gives you a little bit better of coverage. And if you notice, I've already done most of my um, edges just because it just makes it easier when you paint that you can have your edges done and that way you can see the true look of the paint on the wall. Hello again, Home Transformers. I wanted to show you what a complete kitchen would look like with the small, simple changes that we made. Basically, we painted the walls, we added some custom design window treatments, something that has a kitchen feel, a little bit of gingham, and then we have a wonderful cotton fabric that has fruit patterns on it. Did something that's a cafe style, nice little buttons, just to bring a little bit of a French look to the kitchen as well. And you want to finish out the kitchen with some nice embellishments. Maybe like a little flower, you know, a plant, silk plant, doesn't necessarily have to be real. A little glass canister, something that has a little bit of glow to it, a little sparkle. And then you can see here how the backsplash, the countertops, even the new hardware that we put on the drawers really make this kitchen more inviting and fun. So stay tuned because next you're going to see me with some power tools. Hi Home Transformers, I'm here in my workroom and I wanted to show you some of the tools that I love to use. Here we have a handy table saw. Now what I like to do is basically move my handy tool to whatever size that I want to make my board. And I'm going to make it about 6 inches. So I put my gauge on 6 inches, lock it down. Now normally I would wear safety goggles, but you guys want to see my face, so I'm not going to wear any safety goggles. Place my board right up against the brace here, and I'm also going to use another safety item which will push the wood along the blade. Go ahead and turn this on, then you won't be able to hear anything I'm saying. Make sure I keep my fingers behind that red mark. Turn my miter saw on. Make that cut because I already had it pre-measured. Pick that guy up. And as you can see here, I have a perfect frame that I just created. And what I'll do is I'll put staples in the back end of that. And then I'll put some type of canvas behind it and create a country rustic frame. It's great to have a separate workspace, but it's always nice to clean up for your next project. So basically, I take my air pressure gun, make sure I get any debris so that it's ready for the next go round. Thank you, Homes Transformers, for giving me an opportunity to be on your program. This is Lula Gladden, known as Lula B, St. Louis, Missouri, 36 years old, and I'm ready to be on your show. Thank you.